you look at the number of urban areas around the country with light density freight lines, there are a lot of interesting opportunities to do transit projects where people might not have thought about it before because they were perceived to be so expensive, so risky and take so long to get done. This spring I was sitting at home and I got a phone call from Henry and he said, I have a job for you. Um, I want you to help facilitate this battery train. So the train is a modular train. You get the diesel version, the hybrid version. This is the battery version. It's the only battery train in the Western Hemisphere. It's, this project is fun, and the reason that I, I, I go to school for what I do is that you get to take a project from start to finish, both in the office and on the grounds. Turns out that hiring CME students is a really good investment because they are very good at figuring out what the problem is and then solving it, and it doesn't really matter what their background is. They're born problem solvers. Please keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle until it comes to a complete stop. Next stop, platform. The idea is to expose people to the industry before they're about to graduate and plant the kernel that this is both an important industry and a cool industry with a future that might be different than what people have seen in the past. Now that we've got the train here, we'll be demonstrating it for parties who might be interested in transit systems. And that could range from public transportation systems, existing rail operators who are looking for the next generation of equipment, or it could even be private sector real estate developers whose real estate holdings will be made more valuable by having mobility solutions like transit running next to their projects. It, it's, it's one thing to teach history, which I do. It's another thing to make history.